On this issue of Kitchen Science, we teach you how to make your own maelstrom. Dr. Otherford, whatever is that on the horizon? Ah, a hurricane. Well, to manufacture your own, you will need to take a bottle and fill it with water. You'll need a second bottle and some tape. Tape the two bottles together. Then turn them upside down and give it a whirl. Brilliant, Dr. Otherford. You have made a maelstrom of your very own. How does this work? When you fill up the bottle and attach the second bottle to it, try turning it upside down. You find the air bubbles just move to the top of the bottle, only very slowly replacing the water. Because the air and the water get in one another's way. But if you start the water spinning, then as the water moves down through the neck of the bottle, it is forced to move towards the centre. A little bit like when Dr. Otherford does his ice skating impression. The water is constantly moving outwards, but is held in by the walls of the bottle. This means that it moves around the outside of the bottle, leaving space for the air to come up in the middle, which is far more efficient. And once again for our viewers, 